Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and we're back today with another build guide video. We have here the lovely Natasha, a free-to-play unit that is also on the current banner right now as of Zealous banner. And I'm going to be talking, I know it's early days, but I'm going to just clarify with like light cones, traces, relics, what the main stats I'm looking for in terms of relics as well, and also how I'm building this character. It's early days, I'll do an updated guide at like Trollblaze 65, but for now I want to get this information out to you as quickly as I can, so that we can all follow like some kind of path of efficiency someone i know it's a lot of information to to take note of it's like a jungle out there but i'll do my best bear with me i'll make it as simple as i can and the first things first let's talk about light cones so in terms of light cones there are many options i'm using post-op conversation just to give me the additional restoration rate of myself and outgoing healing i think this is a really strong one but for those of you who don't want to use this one or maybe haven't gotten it yet i think there are many other like options available as well in terms of like, for a free-to-play player to use and one of them for example is this uh uh, fine fruit i was using this from the start of the game for quite a bit and in pve while you're waiting for a four star light cone this is extremely strong and the reason for that is every time you start a battle you regen uh, 12 energy this allows you to like breeze through your pve content much quicker because you're running through like a lot of stages as you're going on the game so you're completely topping up your entire party in terms of the, en uh, the additional energy but as you like go on in terms of deeper in the game and you're challenging maybe simulated universe memory of chaos and stuff like that, you want to look more less of this like at the start of battle kind of of uh, effects and focus more on like generic uh, without that that requirement in terms of starting battle so this is like a generic flat increase which is much better in my opinion so th that's the option in terms of choose from other three star light cones that you can that you can use i don't really like this basic attack i know natasha does basic attack a little bit but it's not very useful because you want to focus mainly on her team wide support ability and of course another one that is really useful if you don't want to like, use this build and you haven't forgot found like a good four star light cone this uh cornucopia is definitely a very strong light cone to use for a three star because it, it flat up just gives you the outgoing healing when you use your skill or ultimate which natasha does very often as well the other one i have here right now is quick pro quo and at the start of the wearer's turn regenerate eight energy for a random chosen ally excluding the wearer whose energy is lower than 50 percent this is really strong especially if you want to give like additional energy to a particular team very uh, unconditional because you just need to start your turn and uh, it generally works very well especially if you have for example esta in your team who gives like speed buff to natasha and if natasha is like wearing a speed boot you actually do get quite a lot of value out of this uh, regeneration for the entire party i think this is also really strong but it requires a little bit of investment Investment as it scales with a uh, speed in terms of the character whereas this uh, post op is really like generic you don't really have to have that much investment in the character and early on when we don't really have that much resources uh, i think this is a much better pick in my opinion at least so that's for the light cones if you notice i leveled both uh, light cones as well as natasha's level to 50 out of 50 it's very important to do this for a healer uh, even though she she's not a damage dealer and the reason for that is a lot of her skills and we can talk about that real quick skill of her max hp and uh, hp does increase significantly with levels as well as light cone levels because they give a lot of flat stats as well and now let's go real quick into the tracers and what am, am i prioritizing real quick you could see some patterns in terms of what i'm doing here but i'm going to explain step by step so as she's a support character i'm not really leveling up the basic attack uh, later on maybe when you have eidolon 6 for example where she skills off a little bit better with attack you could level this up a bit more but mainly her attacking is to give uh, skill gauges for the team as well as to do a little bit of physical break the one that i actually am focusing on in terms of levels more will be uh, in terms of this I'll ultimate ability because it heals quite significant and as you level this up you realize that the healing uh, gets more and more uh, stronger as well and i'll also be focusing on skill so ultimate skill like my first two priorities because they scale very well in terms of healing talent i wouldn't say is as important you could leave this at level two uh, if you wanted to or like slow much slower than the rest and invest in the other stuff that you have first and the reason for that is because uh, percentage healing percentage of 30 percent or lower is not as unconditional as like increasing these multipliers that are universal regardless of the situation that you're in but of course this increased outgoing healing is definitely important and when you do need to heal a character usually means they are on the verge of like being eliminated so you still do see this play just that i wouldn't like prioritize it as the number one priority and in terms of like the other tracers um, you will still you'll first be prompted with this one uh, you should level it because anything that is hp or defensive in nature generally Really benefits her and as you can see most of the minor traces that natasha has are all hp hp uh, effect resistance and stuff like that so you definitely want to invest in all these defensive stats 
but out of these uh, the major traces and out of all the characters I have in my free to play team composition I'm, I did build guides on all the other like characters we have we see over here so do check it out on the channel but this soothe ability is extremely strong for a bonus ability and you want to get it up as soon as you can this allows you to use your skill not only as a heal but also as a cleanse and especially if you're in those matches for example you're fighting certain bosses which give you that debuff where you can't really move this is this solves it a lot and it removes a lot of additional damage that you get on the side so highly recommend this to level up and of course if you can just invest in some of the defensive traces as well other than that i think this outgoing healing flat 10 percent bonus is also really strong you should invest in this as well and none and of course recuperation is really strong all her major traces you don't really need to skip any unlike some other characters uh, that i've already done build guide videos uh, for first especially if you're lacking of resources for natasha you want to just max uh, in terms of the traces the quantity of traces it's just the levels you can be a little bit more selective and before we go into relics if you're finding value in this video so far do give a like and subscribe for more of such future content really want to help the channel grow as well and reach out to more people too but now let's get on back into the relics and in terms of the relic set i'm using i'm using the free set that you actually can get from trailblaze level rewards the passerby of wandering cloud but i'm also going to be talking about like what main stat i'll be looking on and what are alternatives if you want to like venture be more adventurous and venture out of this build as well because not all of us got the ideal main stat some of us want to tweak it a little bit but i'll, I'll talk about this and first now let's talk in terms of like um what are the main stats I'm using? So in terms of passerby uh, roaming dragon, what am I doing is I'm actually just uh, focusing, as you can see, this level zero. I'm focusing more on the HP oriented stuff. So if we have HP here in terms of uh, 374, I'm leveling it up so that she can get more flat HP. When you have more flat HP, it means that her heals are much better and she also becomes a stronger like survivability unit as well. So that's something to consider. And as you can see, I don't level the attack because she's not really attack oriented. I rather invest it in like my damage dealing characters in terms of the relics there's so much requirement on relic levels early on that you can't like split it all and this is like my thought process on why i'm specifically selecting certain things to level up and of course uh, in terms of the cloak ideally you want outgoing healing uh, boost if you can get it but if you can't get outgoing healing boost i think hp percentage works pretty fine as well i was quite lucky to get it uh outgoing healing boost for this one not too sure whether it's like scripted and whether everything they give is always this let me know in the comments below if you also got this as your reward and in terms of boots, as you can see here, I'm running a HP percentage boot that I also got from the rewards. Ideally, I want to switch this to a speed boot if I can, because if she acts more, she is able to heal more, generate more skill points for the team, and it overall is a net positive because more sustain and more skill points are always beneficial. So I don't mind moving her a lot faster as well, changing this to speed, uh, sacrificing a little bit of tankiness. She doesn't really draw aggro, so other than for like, the heals that she in terms of the absolute healing that she does speed actually makes up for that because she heals more often as well as she's acting more uh, moving more often she also gains energy restoration more often so it does speed does negate that part of hp at the same time giving you more flexibility in terms of like moving more often than your opponent so don't see it as like a, oh you're losing a lot of hp so that must be a bad thing uh, don't think of it in that way and other than that, in terms of this like left side 4, the other set that I'll be considering early on to build will be a set like uh, Guard of Wuthering Snow. One reason is because uh, if you, for example, don't have a perfect main stats for these, I would consider switching from this one, the, the effect, because this is at start of battle only, and although this outgoing healing bonus is nice, but at start of battle is very restrictive. If you look at Guard of Wuthering Snow, you actually have damage reduction 8% throughout the entire battle, and also at the beginning of every other turn, especially if like you follow that speed boost the speed build for Natasha together with Esther you get a lot of this HP restoration for herself if she less than 50% and also gets a lot of uh, energy back as well so it like compounds on that speed build that we were talking about so I think Guard of Wuthering Snow is a really solid set especially if you have like all the nice main stats you have outgoing healing bonus you have speed boots and you have like very nice HP uh, gear already and you all don't have like uh, your other units are already geared very well I think that is when you want to switch over especially if your this set is not the perfect uh, main step so stuff to consider I think these two are good options and now more interestingly will be the last two one which is like your link rope as well as the, the planetary spear or planar spear 
Uh, in terms of main stat I'm going for, I'm actually using a HP. For those of you who don't know, you get like uh, physical damage bonus, attack, HP, and all these kind of uh, elemental damage bonus kind of effects on this planetary orb. And in general, I think that early on, she doesn't really need to, to do a lot of damage on the team. Of course, if you have Eidolon 6, where a lot of her HP then gets converted over uh, to damage, if we see here, uh, this Doctor's Grace. For example, maybe you're pulling on the current banner of Zeela very often and you're all the way up to 6 already. This then, she becomes more of a damage dealing role uh, but that for most people in this who are watching this video likely will be later on so those are like some thoughts to consider for now uh, if you are defensive just run HP later on you can switch to physical damage if you get to Eidolon 6 or when we get to Eidolon 6 rather and as for Link Rope, I'm running Energy Restoration. I leveled it up a bit, but I think because it's like a it's a blue copy, 3 star only, so I'm not pushing it up too much. I want to invest in like my other characters as well, but I will ideally want to max this to take this out as high as I can also. Energy Restoration is very solid uh, for the reasons I mentioned previously. It helps with a lot of healing combined with speed. It's also like a compounding effect as well. And the reason why I'm actually running Fleet of the Ageless rather than the other one is not only because it gives HP here, but it's very easy to prop this when speed is 100 120 or above if we for example just slap on a speed boot here she will easily get that uh, a very high speed for example if, we, if i see here it's already 16 speed from like a purple gear in terms of a max level purple gear a uh, speed boot and if we go into for example her screen here uh, in terms of her stats her speed is already base speed is already 98 so that already takes it up quite well already and if you have a character like esta who pushes her beyond that 120 you are you very easily be able to prop this uh all, at, all allies attack increase by 8%. So this is really solid if you become like healer slash buffer as well and she moves so fast to generate a lot of energy restoration. So those are some things I'm considering. And if you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe for more such future content. I've done build guide videos on other characters already which I'll link in the videos right here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.